Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here and welcome back to iRacing where this week we are back in the Verizon IndyCar series for the Grand Prix of Alabama here at Barber Motorsports Park. This is a 42 lap race and it is pretty darn hot so it's going to be a really tough race around here. Now I do have quite a lot of experience with this track. I actually used to live like literally two minutes down the road from here when I was uh, competing in the US in real life. So I know the track like the back of my hand, just hoping we can convert it to, well, eye racing and get a decent result today. Last week on Project Cars 2 in Long Beach, it was a pretty big shit show, but we're switching back over to eye racing for the Barber Grand Prix or Alabama Grand Prix, and hopefully we can put down a decent time here in qualifying. Today, alongside me, will be Syandra, our Wyvern Racing teammate, and then Jesse Lyon will be doing some of the spotting for us, oh, and crew cheaping, I guess you can say. But yeah, without any further ado, we'll jump straight into this qualifying session and hopefully set a half-decent lap. All right, Barber. God, this track is ridiculously tight and narrow. Just going to crawl around on this outlap because the track is very hot, so we don't want to heat up these fire to or fire stones too quick. So we need to get this qualifying right because we're not going to be able to make too many passing maneuvers here. It's really difficult to pass here as you can see there's real, there's no real like tight corners or any opportunities where you can stick your nose in. There's one corner in the middle of the track but that's about it. So we've got to get a decent lap on the board here. <coughs> Alright here we go. Okay here comes your first time lap. through there, not bad. Come on. No, I'm going to reset. That was horrible. That was horrible. Ran wide through turn two and completely outbreak myself into three, so we'll just reset here and have another crack at it. You do get two laps here on iRacing for those that haven't used the servers before. So you get two flying laps and if you do screw up your first one, I like to, most people just stay out and do the second lap, but because it's so hot here, I don't want to go out uh, and run the second lap after I just overheated the tires. We'll come back in, get a new set on and have another crack at it. But it does mean we cannot make a mistake on this lap or else we'll be starting from the back. Wow, 105.7, that's all an ass right there. Alrighty, here we go. Take two. Ah. 
secret. Ah, oh, wow, there is no grip at all. Fuck, that caught me out big time. That's gonna be a horrible oh, lap. The chicken flag. Yeah, wow, that was absolutely horrible. <sighs> I can't believe I just screwed that up. Wow. Well, oh well. He's going. Green, green, green. Good. Car on your left, right side, two wide, you're oh. on the left, three wide, oh. you're in the middle, Interesting. three wide, <laughs> clear, go right. I just had a fucking dive bomb from someone from like 40 car lengths back. I saw that. God, the arrow pushes forward. That's why I went up on the wing. Inside. Oh no! Here. I'm calling out for side right now. Clear on the right. I was uber conservative on that first lap. I have a fucking Iberian in front of me that's going to kill everyone in a sec. Uh-oh. I'm having internet problems. Yep. Alright, you're good. Dude, fuck's oh, yeah. sake. Spun, fuck's sake. Fucking held up by that Iberian, my god! Why am I getting a blue flag? As you were, uh. I think. Your internet pieced out when you cross the line. Are you joking? Right side. Clear. Hopefully it fixes itself. Hey, you're on the same lap as everybody else. 
Yeah, I'm hoping it fixes itself. Is that you? Yeah. What happened? Oh, well, my internet shot itself and now I'm locked down apparently. And I got a meatball, so my race is done. I don't think they'll be able to fix it either. <laughs> yeah, too much damage we're done. Fuck! Alright, Jesse, spot for this. Clear on the left.
Alright, sort it out. God, the arrow push is just wicked. Car on the left, right side, clear on the right, car stop on the left. You got a slow car on the left. <laughs> Thomas Strum is damaged, I think. That's the car to lead in the back right now. Oh my god, fuck, could I be s fucked over any more in this race? You good, you can bunt him here. Uh, I ruined my exit. Car behind you, it's clear. Right side. Clear. Whoa, good save. Left side. Nice save. Inside, 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 inside. Still there. Still there. Clear on the left. Ah! Before we used an extra push to pass as well, trying to hold on to it. I got any front end damage? God, I've only got four push to pass left because I keep getting fucked over. Alright. Right side. Outside. Clear. Oh, fuck's sake, just give it up! later.
Good one. Check the car right. Still there. Hold your line. Clear. Hold on. Two push to passes left. <laughs> You'll survive. You'll clear, you'll clear up for the guys behind you. The guys in front of you. Simon Lynch and Yavi Villa. They're battling together so they'll come back towards you. <coughs> Get up to 14th So just uh, watch for the dive here. So I wouldn't worry about passing these guys too much. If you can get, if you can do it, do it. But we're probably going to have you do the undercut on them. Okay. What's the fuel? Uh, ten point seven laps left. Oh my lord! Yavi does not have damage as far as I can see. Yeah, he's just slow. I um, he sent a he sent a dive bomb from like five car lengths back in the second corner and almost wrecked half the field. Even half your wing out of the arrow watch, do it. So run like half a lane up when you're behind him. Okay. I'm in gallons. This guy's got a low downforce setup. Oh like my god! Wow! Right. Go left. Clear on the right. Fuck's sake! You need a pit next lap. Pit next lap. Yep. We're not gonna be able to make it for the end. Watch out! Lots of monster. Why you don't fucking block? My god! I mean, I know he wasn't blocking, but I tried to look up the inside so he just 
parked it on the apex. Yeah, we'll look at it later. I don't think it was your fault then. It's not too bad, I'm gonna stay out. You, you, Jesse, are you seeing what I'm seeing? Hmm. It's, it's half the wing's gone, but it's not too bad. I need to stay out until I can make it to the end or else the race is over. You're on lap 18. If you can make it to lap 19, you should be able to make it. He only has halfway. At first, the whole thing was gone. Yeah, it's got a bit of understeer, but it's not too bad. You should be able to pit this time and make it. How much fuel do you have left? Uh, five gallons. Yeah, pit this time. Top off. You will lose time on the pits because of the wing change, though. Okay. in the pit entry you won't have the downforce that you're used to. Right side, clear. Alright, full fuel tires. Oh, where am I going? I'll hold you in the pits after they drop you, I think, so just be ready for it. Or not? Okay. Yeah, wing changes don't take up any time, I'm pretty sure, and it actually short fueled me as well, so we have plenty to get to the end. Watch your cold tires here. Man, these are warm tires in this temperature! <laughs> three spots in the pit cycle, so just keep these laps up. Yeah, 
Yeah, I just set my fastest lap then. What happened, Austin? Looks like we can all that by somebody going into the pits. The lead is pitting now. Can oh, you just jump to a lineup? Wow, undercutting on this track made a huge difference. Yep. Ah! Easy, you gotta keep the rears alive here. Behind you is about three or four seconds back, car ahead of you is six. Keep digging. Okay. Uh, this front wing change was definitely a good change. <laughs>
to there? Yep. Cars four seconds, four seconds up the road. Okay. I don't think I could get much more consistent lap time wise. <laughs> You're doing well. Come on. Ah, shit.
the DMS card. Couple one. doing my first race in the ILMS series at Interlagos, the two Audis that were in front of me by like 30 seconds were VMS. You got 10 laps to go. the race time for this is 42 laps or 167 hours. Is anyone doing the Mars? Ah, uh, we're watching uh, Joseph is uh, rounding out this racer. Yeah, Joseph's on. Last man standing at IndyCar right now. Seven laps to go at the line, Joseph. Ten foot. Yourself for the last five laps, right? Yep, no, I'm good. Alright, we're gonna hop down with Chris. Meet us there when you're done. Okay.
up by 210. All good. Ah, that's a good call of the worst, man. Five laps to go. You've got about five laps of fuel left. You've got a slow car on the right. The car right, clear. Ah, come on! Let's go. You just got the white flag. That means one more lap to go. No, fuck's sake. Ah!
Oh, we're done. All right, there's the ticket flag. flag. Alrighty, guys. Well, there we have it. I am absolutely buggered. I just, I really gave up a really big opportunity for a decent finish this week. I felt like we had the pace midweek in practice, and I we did definitely get caught out by the hot track today. It was very different to everything we tested in, but that's no excuse. We just screwed up qualifying. I mean, I don't know what I did wrong on that lap. I just had uber amounts of understeer, which is why I made a little bit of a wing change in the front wing before we went out for the race. But yeah, fundamentally, we just got screwed over on lap one and then I made a mistake spinning out. I just got so frustrated being behind that car that was off the pace. And then we ended up catching all the way back up and getting, well, not brake tested. I mean, at the end of the day, it's my fault. I ran into the back of him. We'll go and have a look at here, uh, look at it here in a second, but I just, I don't understand. I, I just don't understand sometimes some of the decisions. I mean, fair enough if you're within three tenths of each other to block and do all that sort of stuff, but if you're like a second a lap slower, then there's no point parking it on the inside of the corner or trying to stop mid corner and force everyone behind you to check up. I just... Brains. <laughs> Alrighty, so here's the start. I'm just trying to t keep it nice and easy going in turn one. I, it's really messy here, the first lap, so... Just trying to get a run on the button now. And then old mate here, like, what are you doing? Like, honest to God. And then I had to avoid him because he almost I don't know <laughs> I mean how close was that I mean it does not get much closer than this like I thought he had stopped and I couldn't see him out of the left side of the car and then oh. <laughs> wow and then he just made a mental error got a little bit too throttle happy I was just frustrated of being stuck behind that guy after what happened on the first lap and we actually dropped all the way back to 19th here, so we managed to go all the way from 19th back up to 10th, which I'll, is pretty good considering this is a track you can't really pass at, but unfortunately I had to use up so many of my push-to-passes to get through some of these guys up here, which ended up never working, because I was just stuck. <laughs> but yeah, thankfully we made a good pit call and strategy call and managed to duck in and duck out fast. Alright, so here's that incident which took our, well, one side of the front wing off, so he's put a wheel off there, he's slowed up, I've seen the opportunity and he's stopped on the middle and then he's blocking and blocking and basically that, it, uh, I mean, it's my fault at the end of the day, but it's just so frustrating, like, if he'd used his head and just let the car that was a second lap quicker by, then we would never have had that issue, but I mean, at the end of the day, it's my fault, so I can't really say anything. Anyway, that's it for Barber not the result we wanted. I really felt like we could have had a top five here provided we actually uh, would have got a decent qualifying lap in but unfortunately being down the back here on that first lap I went just too conservative in the end. I mean if I tried to make it three wide then that guy would have just ran right up the back of us there on that third corner in the middle of the track but yeah it's just IndyCar. I mean there's there's a couple of guys that are really quick but then there's just a couple of guys that make really interesting decisions. I mean, we were hit four times in the race last week. And so this week I was just like, you know, screw it. I'm just going to let them all have it and be conservative on the first lap. And hopefully just be somewhere at the end once everyone sort of spins out and wrecks into each other. But unfortunately we just ended up getting dive bombed from each there and everywhere. And... Oh, it's just frustrating. I can whinge and moan about it all day, but it's not going to change anything. So we'll just move on to the next one. Now, the next race that we'll be doing, I believe, is the IndyCar Road Course. So that should be fun. It's not the new one. It's the it's the older sort of version. So more along the lines of the Formula One Road Course that they used to run at in the Indy, uh, sorry, in the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. So that is something to look forward to. I'm not, again, I'm not really looking forward to there. We just, we had good pace at Laguna Seca, but ever since then, I don't know. I, I honestly thought we had a really good shot of being quick this week, but some of these guys are just getting these Delara IR18s ridiculously quick, and we can't seem to figure it out. But 
Yep, shout out to Cyandra. Big thanks for sticking with me there after he unfortunately uh, had some connection issues. So big thank you to him and the whole Wyvern Racing team. On to the next one.